Hi guys and welcome back to Magical Budgets. It is Amanda and I want to welcome you to the channel today. Um, thanks to everyone that subscribed and has come back to hang out with me and I'm so glad you're here. And for everyone that's new, I'm Amanda. I'm a mom of three and a teacher. I teach first grade. Um, and some days that's very interesting. Um, <laughs> I'm also a travel agent that specializes in Disney. I'm working on a blog. I do YouTube. I've got a lot of little irons in the fire. So, um, hi and welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Um, we are doing our debt. This is the wrong binder. Not bad. Sorry. We are doing um, our debt binder and our month ahead binder. Sorry. Uh, I batch film on the weekend for the week ahead and I uh, have all my binders here and I pulled the wrong one out so I apologize um doesn't matter I still have I have it here I just didn't have it here so we are doing debt and month ahead so just to make that clear um we do month ahead last so we're gonna go ahead and do debt first I am on a debt payoff journey um we are working to pay off um some credit cards and some student loans and a personal loan and a car loan and you know things that I buy that I really shouldn't so um, I'm working on that and I'm working on not going further into debt we are paying it off and keeping it off because I want to build a new house and I need this stuff paid off so I can do that so we're just gonna leave it at that and go forward so this is the 100 envelope challenge from Donna powered by creativity and I will open up my debt binder and you will see what that's for so I do have two DVC loans that I am currently making payments on um, one I paid for outright in cash uh, and then the other two are smaller resale loans um, or resale contracts and so um, I paid half of them and then I borrowed on half of them and so I've got to I'm paying them off so I'm using this to save up to make extra payments so this isn't for like the the regular payments this is just for extra payments so we're paying on the smaller one to pay it off and then we can snowball and pay off the bigger one and then I won't owe anything on them and I can just go enjoy my vacations so <laughs> um, my father was a very big proponent of vacations he passed away in 2022 um, but we always went on vacation every year and I want that to be something that my kids get to do too. So that's why I do this. Um, it's so, because they're gonna grow up and have the memories. And I have the memories of my dad and the time I got to spend with him and he drove a truck so he wasn't home very much. So the biggest lengths of time that I got to spend with him were when we were on vacation. Otherwise he was just home, you know, a night or two on the weekends. Um, so I, I value that vacation time with my children. Um, so anyway, didn't mean to go off course, but there's a reason that I feel strongly about vacation and time with your kids. So what we're doing here is I only have $33 to go into this per week. Now that doesn't include the payments I'm making and my debt snowball that's going in there. This is just extra. Um, because the snowball and all that stuff doesn't go into this part. This is just, this is for fun. Um, this is the fun part of paying off debt. The other part is the grind paying off debt. So, um, but for this, I divide it into, this is going towards my DVC loans. This is going into getting the credit cards paid off, all the rest of these. Um, because the credit cards have the biggest interest rates. So, that's what this is for um so because we only have 33 i'm not putting like 16 17 18 into this i once when we got to 14 i just started um adding the two numbers together and that's what's going into it and because that way the money goes a little further and because the interest rate on my dvc loans is not as much as my credit cards either so they're not as high on my list of priorities if you're going avalanche method I guess you could say um, so I'm kind of doing avalanche and snowball because I'm 
trying to hit the ones with the highest interest rates, but then I'm snowballing the payments once I pay one off. You know what I mean, if you know anything about those two methods. Um, so we have 33, so I have 15 in fives and the rest in ones. So one plus six, I do dot the ones that I add together because these were actually put in separately. Once I get $100 in here, I go ahead and make an extra payment. So that's why I don't just hold it forever. Uh, once once this has 100, then we make an extra payment, which is great. And that, that one is getting really small and I'll have it paid off shortly, probably. So six plus one is seven. So we're gonna put $7 in this. Um, no, we're not. Pause. We're not putting seven in this one because I'm all the way back here on this one. This is where we stopped last week. Lord help me. Lord help me get through this without really flubbing up. So we're going, let's use, mm, we've used pink. Um, let's use green today. Um, so we're going to put $3 in this one. This is going to, right now, instead of like actually paying off my credit cards, I'm trying to get the usage down on all of them because I, I don't know, it feels very daunting and it feels like it's going to take a really long time to get like the amounts down, if that makes sense. Um, but so right now I'm just trying to get the usage down on all of them and then, you know, pay them off that way. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I also remove all the money in here the first week of the month and make a payment on that, on whichever credit card we're working on. Um, because there's no point in it sitting in this binder when I'm paying interest. So that one's got six. Then we're going to go to this one. All of this one, this hundred envelope is from Donna Power by Creativity. All the rest of these are from Quaint Prince Boutique on Etsy. I do have that uh, in the description box if you are interested. It's a big bundle of savings challenges. And I got the bundle when I first started doing this just to give um, one, two, three, um, to give me a bunch of challenges, cheap. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna put the five in there and take a five, just so I make sure I have ones at the end. All right, so this one is, oh, I'm all out of sorts. I think messing up that binder in the very beginning really got me. All right, so we're doing three, so six dollars in here, because I times that by two. So we're gonna put three, color three of these, one, two, and let's do this one, three. So this one has Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But all of these are going to debt. All right, now we're coming back to this one and we're going to do seven. So five, six, and seven. And we'll color this one in. I started doing that because I didn't want to always start with this one. I don't know why I didn't want to always start with this one, but I didn't. I have my idiosyncrasies, I guess you could say. So that way everything gets, we just keep going around. So 20, 30, 5, 36, 7, 8, 9, 40, and 1. So we're at 41 there. So that's good. We're almost halfway to another payment. All right, so this is the May challenge that I obviously started a long time ago. There's, okay, we have two left. So let's do our little worm. So next time this one should get done. And I'm, I'm thinking I may put some scratch offs in here. I don't know. So this one gets five, one, two, three, four, and five. It already had 10 in it because we actually did this one twice last week. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, 
this one will be finished which will still hold it for the first of January to make another payment. All right, and then we're going to roll the dice and it only got one, that's sad. I'm gonna run out of ones before long because I was doing it like if I had like leftover and then I would just stick it in here. I'm not doing that anymore, I'm just holding it for the next week. So five, six, seven, eight. And this one and one reason why I pull it out every month is I thought it's gonna take forever to get to some of these big ones and there's there's no point in letting it sit all right so we get to do another one here some of those small amounts this one's gonna go we're gonna get to go around a lot today one two and three so we're up to one two three four five six seven eight nine in this one because that's the one we started with and we still have one two three to go in the next one so that will be five six seven eight nine we can color another card in and last but not least we get to put we have two left so we're gonna color in another two Which puts us at what, 12? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yes. So we have $12 in this one. Yay. All right. So next week we will start back here where I wanted to start this time. So we'll start back at the very beginning because we went all the way through it halfway and then all, all the way through. So yay. That's exciting. So we'll get to do eight in here next time and it will just keep growing. So um, that's it for our debt binder. So now let's switch gears and move into our month ahead. Um, if you would prefer that these be separate videos, um, you can, you're more than welcome to leave that in the comments. I just figured neither one of them are too long. So, I mean, really I could, which the debt one, I'm at 13 minutes and it's, I'm just starting this one. So maybe it's too long with both of them and I should do them separate, but we'll see. For today, they're going to be together. All right. So this is our month ahead. This is all prop money. So I do, um, I do teach. So we are, uh, I, I'm a 10 month employee, so I only get paid 10 months. I do have to save for the summer. Um, but I would like to get like a month ahead in addition to my, what I have to save for to get through the summer. Um, or I would like to have enough side money coming in to where this can strictly stay as month ahead money and not, I don't have to use it. I'm hoping by summer I'll be to that point. But, uh, we put 20, we put $22 and I swear I think I counted out. 24. So let me count this. I think I put too much. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah, I put too much. So we have $22 here. Um, so we put $2 in each, each envelope. And then once one is filled, um, then we snowball that two dollars into like the next lowest like goal um or amount that we need to save uh i did get this idea from steph's on a budget so that's just the way she does hers um and i really liked it because i feel like everything's getting something but um i like the snowball 
And then I also save for month ahead in my Monday minis. And so whenever I finish one of those, it go all of that will go into whichever one is the like the lowest amount we're working on. And then, so that way, as soon as that one's full, then that gets to snowball into the next one. Um, we already finished my, uh, I've got a term life insurance policy, so that premium for the month, um, that one's already done. And so now we're working on miscellaneous. And miscellaneous is currently at $34. We are saving for 100 So we're going to add $4 here. And I don't think I consolidated last week. Um, so, something I need to do. Um, so 20, 30, 32, 4, 6, and 8. So we're going to add. What's today? 12, 12. Alright. This pen is brand new. And it's not been used. It's got that little ball thing on the end. All right, so 12, 12 plus four, $38. All right. So there's miscellaneous. Our next one is entertainment and it will just get the $2. Plus two, which should give me 21. So we can consolidate this one next. So 10, 15, 17, 19, 21. That one's also gonna save $100. So it won't be far behind once we finish that miscellaneous. Uh, utilities, so this is power and internet and all that stuff. So two, 12, 12 plus two, should be 37. Um, so this one is supposed, it's going to be 350. So this is where it starts increasing. So we have thir 20, 30, 2, 4, 6, and 7. Transportation It's 2. 12 plus 2 is 27 and this one's 350 um, that is the about the amount of my car payment right now so um, this will make a car payment so we have 20 2 4 6 and 7 Education. This is for my student loan payments. Um, right now they're 260, but I think in June they go up because I'm on that graduated repayment. Um, 12, 12 plus 2 and I'm hoping, depending on some things, I'm kind of hoping I can pay one of them off and um, only have one payment. In, by June, so we'll see because both of them are getting down fairly low. I'm, I'm thinking if I push hard, I could pay one of them off. So 22, 4, 6, and 7, which would be awesome. That would get one, one payment off of me every month, especially in the summer when, you know, I'm having to save to keep making my payments. All right, personal, personal money. And I've got 400 on here. I usually only do 50 a week, so I'm not really sure why I didn't just put 200 on there, but it's fine. It'll buffer if something comes up. So we have, or probably because I want to do stuff with the girls through the summer, so that gives me 100 a week. So 25, seven, and nine. Now, towards the end of the month, I'll have a lot going in here because I get a bonus at Christmas. Or it's, it's not a bonus, it's a supplement. Um, but we get we get a, a pretty good size supplement every year and we get half of it at Christmas and half of it at the end of the school year. So I usually use that supplement to go with my summer savings. 
um, which is great. And then I pull a little portion of it to go towards debt also. 37, Amanda, 37. All right, so we have 20, 32, 4, 6, and 7. And, oh, this is for housing. Uh, we don't have a house payment, but that is for if anything were to happen during the summer that we need. Or if I need to help pay for mowing or whatever. So $2 towards groceries. Groceries always cost a little more. Our grocery budget, we've actually got down to where I'm probably, it's probably under $800 right now. Um, I've got down to where I spend usually less than $200 a week um, just by meal planning and stuff. And since we're back in school, but I figure summer will be home, which we pack lunches. It's not like they eat school lunch. My children are the pickiest eaters 22 4 6 and 7 which is bad because we actually have free lunch in our county and my kids won't eat it they do eat they'll eat breakfast at school but they won't eat lunch um so two dollars in here this is for savings challenges so i have enough money to do savings challenges through the summer isn't that smart I put, I'm putting back money for savings challenges. I'm putting back, I'm saving money to do savings challenges. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of ironic, Meta. All right, so we have 10, 15, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22. $22. All right, debt. And this is to make all of my minimums. A lot of my cards, and I don't, I know you're not supposed to do it this way, but a lot of my cards, I have like the minimum plus so much. I've tried to fix it to where it's the minimum plus whatever like interest is being charged on it. So that way it actually drops the minimum, like the amount of the minimum payment. And then I pay like the interest too. Um, I know I'm just supposed to pay minimums and then focus on one and like pay all I can on the one, but uh, that interest, man, it kills me. I hate interest. So I've got 117 in here so far. So we have 1, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17. So 117 in our debt, and our goal for that one is uh, 1675. So it's it's a pretty good chunk there. Um, but that's making, yeah, that's making all the payments, all the and like bills and debts. Like if I have monthly subscriptions, that's in that debt part also. So that's it for the month ahead and the debt savings um just a lot of stuff going on we may because we are at like 23 minutes now so um i may end up splitting this and do one on thursday one on friday i don't know we'll see um we'll see how it goes because i will be doing these every week uh because they are very important to uh reaching our goals so um, i hope you guys are having a good week tomorrow's friday one day to go we can do it and i will see you saturday for sinking fun saturday bye guys